Hi everyone, this is Naina here and I am back in my hometown of Trivandrum. So I am here for my mom's retirement. So today is January 31st and today is my mom's last working day. So she is a central government employee and has been one for 35 years. So that she's been working there before I was even born. So that seems like a long time to work in one place and she's never had like transfers or anything so it's been the same office for 35 years today most of us are switching jobs every few years and we cannot imagine being in one place one building for 35 years i can remember so many years of going into that building I spent my entire childhood there for vacation. There used to be vacation classes. There used to be cultural competitions for kids, uh, athletic meet for kids. There were so many things and that office, that government building is very, very close to my heart also because I grew up there as a kid. So I am honestly very thankful to my mom having been in one place because that honestly has been a huge part of my childhood too so anyway today we are having a small party for her a retirement party so we're going to be having around 30 people here 15 from her office and 15 were friends and family uh, so since we are having a party i decided why not have a zero waste party right let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that it's successful but I will take you through the entire day and how it goes. So I hope you enjoy it. So now my mom's about to leave for her office for her very last day. So let's go, you know, see how she is and let's lead her to her office for one last time. the plates and cutlery and everything that we've you know kept for using for today for 30 people so this I collected from my in-laws place uh, while we came uh, because in case they didn't have enough plates these are all the teacups we had also got some teacups from my in-laws place too because just in case you know and today I realized that we did not have you know glasses so i again got more glasses uh, delivered through swiggy genie from my in-laws place because there's some you know welcome drink or so yeah so everything here is stuff that is reusable and this is the first way to try and not use any disposable cutlery or anything of that sort. No plates, no cups, no nothing. So this is the dining room that has been arranged. And uh, that is the living room also. But I know that's not going to be enough for like 30 people. So we have a few of our chairs, extra chairs rented out here. So I think that should be enough. Again, not disposable, not a one-time purchase. We just rented these chairs just in case there's not enough space. Blancy, Blancy ma, Blancy mini, Joy ma, Joy ma. So these are our babies. They'll probably be kept inside when all the guests arrive because. Sadly, not everybody's pet friendly. It's not something I like at all, but yeah. Did you? So we are getting food from a catering service. Um, and we've requested them not to give any disposables and to give the food in like uh, 
uh, steel containers which they can collect tomorrow so they are bringing everything uh, in you know a big batch and everything separately in their own containers and no disposables is what we've requested them and i've also ordered a vegan cake from a home baker again i don't know they there might be like some ways there because it's going to come in a like a box yeah that might become a waste so we didn't have like a lot of uh, glasses for uh, giving the welcome drink and i requested in a few facebook groups here if anybody could lend theirs and so many people actually offered so many people actually offered to lend it for like a day or two which is so 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 sweet so sweet but Uh, thankfully i didn't need it at the end because my uh, mother in law uh, said that they have a few and so we collected it from them but it was so sweet that people were offering to lend it for like a day no payment nothing they were just willing to you know lend it they were willing to trust me which is so sweet honest i'm so thankful for such communities the fact that people are willing to you know trust each other and just give something and knowing that they will return it or trusting that they will return it that was a very sweet experience so just took a bath and this is the kurta that i'm wearing today um thought i'll just go in a little bit of traditional wear other than an earring my makeup is done so i think i'm ready so the cake is here so just one disposable one but at least it's a wooden one so <sighs> okay not too bad so everything is ready uh, the caterers will be coming in shortly and our house self will be uh, helping with that while we gone so i am ready for the function we are heading over to my mom's office where uh, uh, ceremony will be happening so we'll probably go there and we'll probably come back early to arrange everything uh in time before my mom and her colleagues arrive party is over everybody is gone and uh, it was a success i mean except for maybe the cake you know the cup, uh, cardboard piece and the the paper uh, box that it came in and the 
wooden knife which we didn't use but except for that there was no waste there was no food waste at all food we got left over we have given it to everybody different households so yay it was a success so what hosting this zero waste party for over 30 people taught me was that it's definitely possible to host one if you are determined enough i was asking strangers if they had glasses to lend me uh, i was even willing to check if there was an option for renting so there is always an option it's just about how much we really really want to make it happen so i am honestly very very thankful that this turned out great everybody was happy my mom was honestly so so thrilled she enjoyed the entire party if you are somebody who's maybe throwing a birthday party or something of that sort i would recommend that you try and make it a zero waste party i know when it comes to birthday parties you always have the tendency to buy balloons and this and that but i feel there are lots of zero waste decorations that are available today made of upcycled cloth or fabric hopefully i may start selling them sometime uh, in the future in my own shop the green circle there are lots of options already available you can always order a little in advance so that's why i say sometimes you just need determination and planning and in case you are unable to you know sort of reuse the cutlery or plates by washing it while the party is going on you can just pay a little extra to your house help for one single day and they will come and help you out with the cleaning and washing and everything and all you need to do is just enjoy the party and again let me just say that the um, the place i ordered the catering from is not like known for being completely sustainable or so but sometimes especially if you have a good number of guests coming they will they will usually be okay with giving it in you know reusable uh, steel containers or boxes or anything of that sort which are reusable sometimes you just need to insist and tell them that this is something that you can't waver from from so i hope you enjoyed watching a very small vlog of my mom's retirement and how i was able to successfully hold a zero waste party i hope that you take inspiration from this and hopefully conduct such zero waste parties and i do do hope that this becomes a norm so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you know the drill give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my content it means a whole 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 lot to me so i will see you like always next thursday so until then bye bye